Hmm. I think we're going to have a little 77 party tonight in honor of the arrival, imminent arrival, of the second run of Special Factory Order Medium Barlows by Mike Latham at CollectorKnives.net from Great Eastern Cutlery. We're going to talk about another 77. Not the first run medium Barlow with the clip and the Warncliffe blades. <clears throat> Not even the Washington Jack with its gorgeous lined and fluted bolsters. We're going to talk about a 2014 number 77 Great Eastern Cutlery that everybody just overlooked. Stick with me, guys. We'll talk about it. Hi gang, Rob here. It's the evening of 17 February 2014 and yes, we're not talking about the medium Barlow, the Bartham, the Marlow, the <laughs> Yankee Barlow. Not talking about that. And we're not talking about the gorgeous Sunday go to meeting Washington Jack. Nope, we're going to talk about the other 77 run by Great Eastern Cutlery in 2014. The Yankee Jack. To give you a size reference, these are 3 and 11 16 inches long, handle length. A sleeve board, board pattern, narrow at the pivot. Two layer knife. Just a pretty standard satin finished clip point with a nail neck. What a gorgeous clip point it is. And on the other side, a pen blade. Also satin finished, no etching anywhere. <clears throat> Just a plain bar shield. Main blade, two and seven eighths inches in length, two and an eighth on the pen. Ho-hum, let's see, bolsters are plain, although slightly pinched, a little tiny bolster on the butt, just a plain old little pocket knife, isn't it? Yep, <clears throat> and there wouldn't really be much to say of note about this knife, other than it's pure utility. Pull is, oh, a seven on that main clip point blade with great snap got that road runner effect coming to half stop pen blade about a six one thing I like about great eastern, eastern cutlery's pen blades is they're actually ground flat not like some other makers who have a lot of trouble grinding their small blades <clears throat> just functional nothing special except that it's so special and guys Great Eastern got these transitions right no gaps no high spots on any corner smooth across the butt back springs are dead flush when closed <clears throat> the main blade is just a bit proud at half stop back to flush while open and the pen blade is flush flush and flush super well done <clears throat> let's take a look inside the blade well look at that finishing beautiful ground inside of the back springs how they did the ends not quite straight across but awfully close yeah, if it weren't so functional it'd be boring good in hand for a two-bladed knife plenty of room for the index finger 
and that saber grip but most most times guys we're going to use these in a pinch grip anyway so the secondary blade doesn't really get in as in our way as much as we might think <clears throat> oh let's see if it cuts I just got done sharpening it you know me got to do that fresh out of the tube this knife uh, pretty much like new but helping a buddy out pay for his new single bladed 77 medium bottle this one comes to us from Patrick, Aiden's daddy, on YouTube and uh, Instagram. Hmm. I guess it'll cut. Should we try the pen? We don't cut paper with pen blades very often, but <clears throat> I think it's pretty sharp too. Oh yeah. Gotta love that 1095, don't we? So yeah, like I said, other than pure function, really no reason to like this knife. Except, you know what we rarely talk about? We get a little overly serious, don't we, in the knife community? We tend to take ourselves too seriously. Don't we? Hmm. Let me clean up this mess. Sometimes, sometimes, knife collecting, especially traditional knife collecting, is just fun. Yep. Sometimes it's just fun. <laughs> yeah, this one's in Sunbright Acrylic. Can you see it glowing, guys? I wish that was a little better picture. Yeah, I'm not really much for synthetic cover materials on a traditional knife, but you know, I love a two-bladed jack with a clip and a pen blade. I just love it. It's my sort of my favorite traditional knife. Although the Barlow is really coming on strong for me lately. But let's face it, a two-bladed jack, <clears throat> a classic jack, it's just a working knife. And sometimes, especially when you have enough of them, it's cool to have one that just glows in the dark. Especially when it's such a high quality knife from such a great company. Hey, there are some of these left, guys. <clears throat> all the other 77s are pretty much either sold out or the new run all spoken for. And at like between 80 and $85, maybe 90 on some sites. What a great value. The Sunbright Acrylic still out there, brand new in tube. So go see your favorite internet knife purveyor. You guys know the ones I use. Collectorknives.net, KnivesShipFree.com, TSA Knives on occasion. Go get you one. It'll be fun. Grace to you and peace, my friends, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And remember the word and my glow-in-the-dark Yankee Jack are sharp. <laughs>